Four IDF soldiers were wounded last night while securing the route for Jewish pilgrims heading to Joseph's tomb. Around 1,500 individuals proceeded with their visit, underlining the commitment to strengthen security forces and ensure unhindered access. An explosive device was detonated late Wednesday night against an IDF unit in Nablus. The forces were present in Nablus to provide security for Jewish pilgrims en route to Joseph's tomb. The attack left an IDF officer and three soldiers injured, with one in moderate condition and the others in light condition. After treatment at the Robin Medical Center, two of the soldiers were released shortly after. The IDF's team mission was to create a secure pathway for the worshippers by entering Nablus ahead of them. While details are still unclear, it's uncertain whether the explosive device was thrown or remotely activated. Notably, the explosion site was not along the designated route for the worshippers' passage. Armed clashes were reported in the area as well, with video reportedly from the scene showing additional explosive devices being thrown towards Israeli forces. The Palestinian Islamic Jihad's Al-Quds brigades and Hamas Al-Qasim brigades claimed responsibility for the attack. And despite the attack, around 1,500 people in 30 buses proceeded with their visit to Joseph's tomb, underscoring the determination to maintain access to the site. Local authorities expressed commitment to strengthen security forces and criticized any attempts to hinder access to the tomb. Video footage displayed a cloud of smoke following the explosion, and despite the attack, the visit to Joseph's tomb continued as scheduled. Calls for the government to exert full control over the tomb were also voiced.